As we approach the end of the year and the holidays, I've compiled seven things that you should remember in December. I have mixed feelings about December. What I like about it is that it offers a natural opportunity to take stock of your life, make new plans, and adjust your existing plans for the future. The one or two weeks break from work that most people get can be quite useful to get their life in order. But what I dislike about it is the false joy of the season and the consumerism that underlines this holiday period. What is supposed to be about family, goodwill, and Christ's birth is actually about shopping, partying, and self-gratification. And that's for those who have money and a good family, because those who don't must make do with unfulfilled desires, with scarcity, depression, and loneliness, and so on. So I've put together this list to help you make the most of this time of the year and avoid the December blues. Okay, so number one, the stores are out to get your money. That's something you have to know. Most businesses make more money in the run-up to Christmas than any other time of the year. And you should know that for that reason, their goal is to sell you as much as they can. In a way, that is good. It's good for the country's economy. Don't get me wrong, but you really have to see if that is good for your economy. So don't give in to the aggressive, almost irresistible advertising that bombards you from every side this time of the year. If you keep your head, you will probably also keep more money in your wallet. Number two, everything will be cheaper in January. Yes, I know you know this, but this is a fact that many people ignore. If you really must buy something, remember, it will probably be between 10 to 50% or more cheaper in only a few weeks. How about using some of your money to pay a few debts now instead and then take advantage of the lower prices in January? That's not a bad idea. Number three, Christmas is not Christian. Few people realize that Christ's exact birth date is unknown. If there's one thing we do know for sure is that it wasn't in December. More likely, he was born between February and March. Another thing is that Jesus never celebrated his birthday, nor did he leave an order for his disciples, his followers, to do it. In fact, he told us to celebrate his death, not his birth. I doubt he would like to be associated with what goes on at Christmas nowadays. Christmas celebrations actually appeared hundreds of years after Christ as pagan beliefs and Christianity got meshed together. Number four, it's a time to reflect. If you get a break in December to be off work, use this time to look at the past year and how it turned out for you. Why did some things happen or didn't happen in your life? What can you learn from these things? So use this time off to think back on your life and see what lessons you can learn from the things that have been happening to you. Number five, a time to plan. It's been said that failing to plan is planning to fail. And I think there's a lot of truth in it. And yet it amazes me how many people just don't set goals or make any plans for the future. Don't let life just happen to you. Take charge of your life. Grab it by the scruff of the neck and make it go where you want it to go. Use your power to plan, to set goals. Number six, get organized. You know all those things that you thought of doing throughout the year, but you never had the time to do them? Remember those projects you started but left half finished? Well, put some order in your life. Tie the loose ends, finish what you have started, rearrange your priorities. 
In short, bring some order to your life. And number seven, who gets the gifts? If in spite of all the previous points, you still feel that you must buy some Christmas gifts, then here's a last thought. Whose birthday is it, really, at least supposed to be? I wouldn't want you in my birthday party if you came and bought everyone else a gift but me. And yet, that's what many people do at Christmas. So, be like the wise man. You know, the wise man who traveled from the east to bring Jesus gold, incense, and myrrh? They were wise, so be wise too. If it's about Jesus, then find a church where the work of Jesus is being done today through His true servants and give your offering there. Give your gift there. I tell you, you won't be among the crowd, but you will surely be among the wise. So December can be a very profitable time for you if you know how to use it. Until next week, God bless you.